Hello, I'm Chris Metherill and the Natural History Society of Northumbria have asked me if I would make some very short films about the sorts of plants which you could see if you go out into the countryside in Northumberland and also into County Durham. And because it's spring, I'm filming this uh, during the first week in March, we're going to start with a spring plant, Lesser Celandine, which my wife and I filmed uh, a little bit later in April uh, last year in some woods uh, just about half a mile away from where we live in mid Northumberland. So these are almost over now um, because, as I've said, they flower quite early in the year. So these have been flowering probably for three, perhaps even four weeks. And uh, they're quite pretty yellow flowers, uh, kidney shaped leaves, which are rather like the uh, leaves of marsh marigold, which you may have seen in another film, and they are in fact quite closely related to marsh, marsh marigold. They're not the same genus, but um, they're, they're quite close. This is Lesser Celandine, Ficaria verna. Verna means spring, very appropriate. And in fact, there are several sorts of Lesser Celandine. They all look more or less the same, and often this called them subspecies rather than species because they're very closely related. And there are several subspecies of Lesser Celandine. And the, there are two common ones, and they're very easy to tell apart. You have to wait until they've been flowering for about three or four weeks. Uh, so this is an ideal moment. And um, this one is the subspecies which has little bulbs in the axils. That's the joint between the stem and the leaves. They have little bulbs, little white, creamy white bulbs. And it's a, a, strat a reproduction strategy. They reproduce by seed but they also spread by releasing the bulbs, they drop off the stems, maybe they get picked up by birds or um, our feet, and they get transported across the wooden floor. So it's not putting all your eggs in one basket, they're, they're optimising their ability to reproduce by producing little bulblets. Uh, there's another subspecies that doesn't do that. Stems have no bulbs on them at all, but this one does. And uh, uh, very often you get them growing together. Um, all within a few yards of each other. But uh, two different subspecies of, of uh, Lesser Celandine. It's quite fun to see if you can find both of them. One with bulbs and one without. But you have to look at this time of year. Early in the year, the bulbs won't have formed and you won't see them. Well, that was Lesser Celandine, a very pretty little spring plant, which is flowering right now at the beginning of March. Why don't you go out and see if you can try and find it?